Nerve damage and high blood sugar go hand in hand, with over half of type 2 diabetics developing neuropathy if they don't manage it properly. Most people think a lot about food, but drinks often fly under the radar and are a main area where people go wrong. So today we're looking at the seven most dangerous beverages for your nerves, including some that you may have been told are good for you. If you're a fan of flavored water, watch carefully because we'll show you how to get this right. And to top it all off, we'll also discuss some of the best drinks that will actually protect you. This is really important information. Nerve damage is extremely common with diabetes. It can lead to blindness, amputation of limbs, and heart attack. But many people don't take action until it's too late. So watch the whole video and take notes. Make sure you subscribe to Diabetic talk for more practical diabetes information. Plus, stick around to find out how you can get three free gifts to help you prevent and fight diabetes. First off, let's discuss coffee because coffee can be good and bad. On the positive side, coffee is a rich source of antioxidants. In moderation, these combat oxidative stress, reducing cell damage associated with diabetes, and in turn, protecting against diabetic neuropathy, liver damage, and heart disease. However, on the flip side, excessive coffee consumption can be detrimental. Too much caffeine can accelerate nerve damage. It can also heighten pain in the arms and legs. And of course, caffeine can induce anxiety, increase blood pressure, and interfere with sleep, which are all going to negatively impact your blood sugar and nerve health. Caffeine affects people differently. However, the general advice is to stick to a limit of 400 milligrams of caffeine per day. That's around four cups of coffee maximum. Or you might like to try decaf coffee. Next, what are you putting in your coffee? Coffee creamers, particularly the non-dairy varieties, are staple items in many households, but you need to be careful. First, many coffee creamers have trans fats, often listed as partially hydrogenated oils. Trans fats are notorious for damaging arteries and causing heart attack, which is why they're technically illegal in many countries. But if a product contains less than 0.4999 grams per serving, Food manufacturers round it down to zero in many cases and then slap on a label saying trans fat free. If there's one vital habit when grocery shopping, read the ingredient list on any packaged food and look for the words partially hydrogenated oil. That's trans fat. If you see those words, put it back on the shelf. The other obvious problems with many creamers is that they contain sugar and high fructose corn syrup, which damages nerves, as well as preservatives, emulsifiers, and artificial flavorings, which cause inflammation and gut damage. For healthier alternatives, consider grass-fed organic cow's milk, which doesn't have any harmful additives. Nut milks like almond milk can also be great options, but check that they don't have added sugar. Another popular choice is half and half, which is simply equal parts milk and cream, offering a rich taste without the additives. Are you finding this information useful? If so, click the thumbs up button to help others find this video and click subscribe to stay up to date when we release new videos. While flavored waters may not be as bad as some of the drinks we'll discuss next, many contain harmful ingredients. For starters, these waters contain sweeteners like aspartame, which we'll get to in a moment. Then there are artificial flavors, which can increase inflammation, a major driver for nerve damage. But the fact is, whether it's cane sugar, high fructose corn syrup, or a chemical sweetener, it's not going to do your nerves any favors. Pure water should be the number one drink for diabetics. If you love flavored water, then make your own. Simply add fresh fruits, mint, berries, or lemon to your water pitcher. Freshly squeezed lemon is particularly good, as lemon stabilizes blood sugar and improves insulin sensitivity. Plus, lemon contains antioxidants that combat oxidative stress, further protecting against nerve damage. 
Next, we have a popular breakfast option that should come with a warning. But first, how about these free gifts? Discover an entire world of diabetes-fighting foods with our new book, 10 Incredible Foods That Reduce Blood Sugar. Plus, you'll discover the real reason why type 2 diabetes, obesity, and heart disease are increasing at an alarming rate. And find out what really works when it comes to preventing these illnesses by watching our free diabetes-fighting documentary. Plus, get a free recipe book, amazing amazing alternatives to rice, pasta, and bread, which contains over 50 delicious and easy to prepare recipes that the whole family will love. These gifts are free and waiting for you to grab them in the description box below. Now back to our video. While fruit juice is promoted as a healthy choice, you're essentially ingesting liquid sugar, which quickly spikes blood sugar and causes glycation. Glycation occurs when excess blood glucose binds to proteins in your blood. Hemoglobin in blood becomes sticky and coated with sugar, causing damage throughout the body, especially to your nerves. For example, the retina in your eyes are made of light-sensitive nerves, but when glycated cells bind to these nerves, it causes inflammation and overstimulation. Over time, this can ultimately lead to cell death, leading to vision impairment or blindness. The whole fruit, on the other hand, contains fiber, which slows the absorption of sugar, dampening those dangerous spikes of excess glucose in the blood. Furthermore, it's important to remember that a single glass of orange juice can contain three to five oranges. Would you ever eat that many oranges in one sitting? It's simply too much sugar, not to mention the extra sugar, preservatives, and artificial coloring that's added to processed orange juice. If you're set on fruit juice, make it a very occasional treat. Freshly squeezed is going to be less harmful than processed. Consider adding a twist of lemon and mix it with water to reduce the sugar content. And before you drink it, consume a healthy source of protein or fat, like avocado, nuts, or cheese, to dampen the glycation effect. And of course, soda is a no-go for any diabetic. Just like juice, soda is packed with sugar, which is going to damage your nerves and arteries and increase insulin resistance. In addition to sugar, many sodas contain caffeine. And as we discussed, excessive caffeine exacerbates nerve damage, making sodas doubly dangerous. Similarly, commercial iced tea and sweet drinks are going to be packed with sugar and chemicals, so it's best to stay away or make your own. If you're looking for that bubbly sensation, try sparkling water. Squeeze in your favorite fruits to jazz it up. Now, you might be asking, but what about diet soda? Unfortunately, that's a no-go too, due to the artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners such as aspartame and saccharin are touted as healthy substitutes, but delve into the science and this facade crumbles. For starters, long-term use of aspartame has been found to negatively impact the structure of nerves. In one study, subjects given aspartame showed significant damage to the sciatic nerve. Spaces between nerve fibers increased, blood vessels within the nerves appeared swollen, and there was visible breakdown of the myelin sheath, the protective covering around the axons of nerves. Additionally, studies have linked aspartame to cerebral cortex disruptions. Such impacts can lead to issues with memory, learning, and behavior. Other research links aspartame consumption with increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Highlighting this, a study in diabetes care found daily diet soda drinkers faced a staggering 67% increased risk of type 2 diabetes and a 36% higher risk of metabolic syndrome, a precursor to multiple health issues including heart disease. But the concerns aren't limited to aspartame. Studies show that sweeteners such as saccharin and sucralose may interfere with gut microbiota, with implications for digestion, immune function, and even mood regulation. 
More broadly, artificial sweeteners have been shown to lead to increased food consumption, weight gain, and consequently a higher risk of diabetes. Their super sweet nature, up to 13,000 times sweeter than sugar, may trigger addictive neural pathways akin to substances like cocaine, creating a vicious cycle of craving. So it's useful to think of any added sweeteners as a problem to avoid, whether it's real or fake sugar. Remember, sugar is addictive, so don't blame yourself. With time, our palates adjust to less sweet flavors. Embrace natural tastes and soon your taste buds will adjust. Now for our number one and most dangerous beverage, alcohol. Alcohol has a toxic effect on nerves, interfering with the structure of the nervous system, resulting in cell damage, nerve dysfunction, tingling, pain, and muscle weakness. Chronic alcohol consumption can also impair the absorption of essential vitamins, including vitamin B12, B6, thiamine, folate, and niacin, all of which are pivotal for nerve function, creating a vicious cycle of damage and deficiency. Beyond nerve health, excessive alcohol brings other dangers. It can damage the liver, increase the risk of various cancers, and weaken the immune system. And of course, some alcoholic beverages like beer are high in sugar, delivering a triple whammy of health problems. If you choose to drink, the lowest sugar option are spirits like gin, whiskey, or tequila. Mix them with low sugar ingredients like vodka with freshly squeezed lemon and sparkling water. On the other hand, many diabetics will choose to abstain completely from alcohol, especially if they're already experiencing diabetes complications like heart disease. Abstaining completely is ultimately a far better option. While some studies show that red wine does have some nutritional benefits in terms of polyphenol content, the negatives outweigh the positives when it comes to nerve health. However, if you are going to drink, moderation is key. Most guidelines recommend a maximum of two drinks per day for men and one drink per day for women. Now to the best drinks for nerve health. Herbal teas are excellent for health in general, including nerve function, with multiple studies showing that regular tea drinkers live longer, including a 2022 UK National Cancer Institute study which concluded that people who consumed two or more cups of tea per day had a 9% to 13% lower risk of death from any cause than people who did not drink tea. That's due to tea's richness of flavonoids, catechins, and other compounds known to be anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, neuroprotective, and anti-apoptotic. Which teas are best? While many teas offer many different benefits, some of the best for nerve health include green tea, ginger tea, chamomile, rubios, turmeric, tarragon, saffron, bitter melon, and tulsi. Chicken broth is another great option, as it contains collagen and other compounds that support joint and nerve health. Leafy green smoothies and berry smoothies are a great way to boost your minerals like magnesium, which are key for healthy nerves. Add in some avocado for creaminess, add extra potassium, which promotes healthy nerve conduction. Next, citrus fruits contain a type of compound called flavonoids, such as eructictol, hesperitin, and narigenin, which alleviate neuropathic pain. This is one of the many reasons why lemon water is an excellent choice. Just be sure to use a straw if you drink it daily and brush your teeth before rather than after because lemon is acidic. And finally, choose water as your primary drink to flush out excess glucose from your blood, keeping your nerves, arteries, and entire body happy. If you found this information useful, click the like button to help us spread the word. Ask any questions in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget, you can claim your free gifts by clicking the link in the description below or visiting us at diabetictalk.com. Also check out exclusive Diabetics Talk merchandise from our store and sign up as a member to get full access to the Food, Health, and You Complete Implementation System document 
documentary, and more. We want to keep making informative, research-based videos for you, so if you gained value from this video and would like more of it, you can send us a super thanks by clicking the thanks button at the bottom of the video. We're Diabetics Talk, and it's our mission to bring you the best tips and tricks to help you fight diabetes. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a diabetes fighting day.